Hi everybody. This week is Teacher Appreciation Week and those of you that have had me before uh, know that I always give you the opportunity to write cards to those people that have been a helpful influence in your life. Teachers, coaches, uh, teachers aides, principals, nurses, bus drivers, anybody that has either made an impact on your life personally, educationally, in a classroom, on a playing field, driving on a bus, a, a nurse, anybody that has uh, helped you. So because we're not in a classroom and we don't have that opportunity to make those cards, I would like to encourage you to reach out to those teachers that have had uh, any impact in your life whatsoever and either A, send them an email, which is pretty quick and easy, or a little more difficult is, is make them a, a card uh, and send it actually through the mail, which is awesome because nobody doesn't like getting something in the mail. If you need any addresses or anything, contact me. I'd love to try to help you. Um, I think it's fairly easy these days to find uh, teachers' addresses on um, the internet, not their personal address, but their school address, and uh, send that card to them. It would make their day. I promise it would. Um, because we're not in the classroom, I'm going to tell you about if I had the opportunity to thank these two teachers, and I'm fairly certain that um, with the passage of time that neither one of them are with me anymore. My first one that I would thank would be my first grade teacher, Mrs. Liebman, and for two reasons. One is that I have always loved to read. It's my most favorite thing to do, and I've love to read my whole life. Books are a huge part of my life. Um, I always have them with me and um, it really started I think with my first grade teacher Mrs. Liebman who encouraged me to read so much so that she allowed me to have my own private reading group. Now you guys probably didn't have reading groups but people my age know that we had little reading groups, red, red birds, blue birds, black birds, and you were in a reading group and you read with that little group. And um, because I love to read so much, she let me have my own reading group. And so I didn't necessarily have to read those little boring Dick and Jane books. I could read whatever I wanted to read. And that was just remarkable. And now as a teacher, I find that it's even more remarkable because it obviously made more work for her to make me my own one person reading group, which was amazing. And I love Mrs. Liebman. And she was part of our family for a really long time. My mom kept in contact with her. And I was in first grade when my dad was stationed in Okinawa. And she also was a teacher for the Department of Defense. So she moved and we moved. And my mom kept in contact with her for a long time. So she would be definitely one teacher that I wish that I could talk to and tell her how influential she's been in my life. And then my other one, for very different reasons, was my sixth grade teacher, Mrs. Travis. I think I've mentioned maybe a lot in class that uh, my parents uh, divorced when I was in high school, and it was very um, traumatic divorce. It wasn't like, hey, we don't like each other, let's split up. It was like, hmm, let's make everybody's life miserable in this house for four or five years, and then, and it really started when I was in sixth grade, and um, my teacher recognized that something was up with me and uh, she would talk with me. It's going to make me cry when I talk about it. Um, and oh, I'm going to cry. I didn't know I was going to get this emotional. Um, but yeah, she was really special. So I would talk with Mrs. Travis. Oh, I can't believe I'm crying so much. Sorry. This is supposed to be happy. Um, but she was really influential in making me feel like things would be okay and that things weren't my fault and all that other good stuff. Gosh, I don't even know if I'm going to send this now so I'm crying. Um, so I would definitely want to talk with her because she was a very special person in making me feel okay to get through, gosh, sorry people, to get through that um, really yucky, yucky time in my life. Um, and those of you that hopefully have parents that never did that, you don't know what I'm talking about, those of us that have had parents, you know that first, those first scary times when it's like, what is happening? What's going on? It really affects you in lots of ways. So I'm going to not smile. Mrs. Travis would be certainly one of those teachers that I would love to be able to um, talk to and hug. And she, I had her um, for um, math, which you guys know that would be my favorite subject. 
but she was just a really, really nice lady and recognized that something really was happening to me and took the time to figure out what it was and why. And she would let me come in her room um, sometimes at lunch. So she was a very nice lady and I um, greatly appreciate her being in my life. So sorry about that. I didn't know I was going to do that. Um, so I would encourage you to think about all of the teachers that you have had um, over your uh, educational um, career or life. My little freshmen, you haven't had as many. My juniors, you've had a lot. Sophomores, you're kind of getting there. But make sure you think about that and either do an easy quick one, an email. Uh, again, it's easy to find teachers' email addresses or more personal um, a card and address it to whatever school that they're at. Those of you, I always have people that want to do teachers that have retired and I have always done my best to try to get those, but um, I'm not sure if uh, how you can maybe look up uh, addresses or any of those things to find those people. If you really have a teacher that you would like uh, that's retired, let me know and I can try and maybe help you track them down because those retired teachers love to get stuff like that. So. It's Teacher Appreciation Week, and I hope you thank a teacher. I also want to say one of the reasons I'm a teacher and one of the things that I think about when I'm a teacher are those two ladies. The one lady that recognized I had a love of something and inspired me to do that, and then my other teacher who knew something wasn't going on right in my life and uh, took the time to ask. And like many students, it took her asking more than once. Um, she didn't She didn't stop at the first time when I'm like, oh, I'm okay, when I, she knew truly that I was not. So this was longer than I thought. I don't know how many of you are watching it and listening, but um, I do want to encourage you again to reach out and thank a teacher. Have a great rest of your week. Sorry I cried. I'm not going to look at this because if I look at it, I won't send it, and then defeats the whole purpose. And I don't cry pretty. I cry ugly. Sorry. Um, and enjoy your week. And I'll talk with you guys later. Bye.